Three, two, one. Hey, everybody, and new friends. This is Magic Brad on the Magic Brad Show here at an undisclosed location at the Magic Lounge in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I've got a repeat guest on here. His name is Tyler, and the last name is Ornstein. Are you there, Tyler? I'm here. There, I'm yay. here. <laughs> are, are you up in Canada? Uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not. I'm not where, where, I'm in where, Tucson, where Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. I don't know. I do a lot of these things, so I get them all mixed up. Oh, I do too. I and do that too, Arizona accent kind of is like a Canadian accent, right? <laughs> yeah more mexican i would say but yeah yeah you're on the border absolutely on the border man on well today's border. topic is coffee do, they have they have mexican coffee don't they don't they uh, do beans in mexico uh yeah our coffee is from chiapas mexico is it is it is uh, yep. i know you get it all over the place um i i learned that vietnam was a place that uh, they actually harvested coffee that's uh that was surprising to me. So the interesting thing is there's a there's a 200 mile variant up and down from the equator. Oh. And coffee grows naturally within that 200 margin. So 100 miles north, 100 miles south of the oh. equator. And then people have tried to make coffee outside of that 100 mile radius and it's very difficult. Also extremely expensive because you have to just have a greenhouse and you have to have it tempered and you have to be doing things correctly. And it's it's a process for sure. I'm kind of curious, you know how the, the water goes one way in the northern hemisphere and the other way in the does yep. coffee taste differently in the northern and southern hemisphere? It can. Okay. <laughs> it can. Yeah, it's more altitude. Oh, okay. So the higher the altitude, the there's there's a couple of, I don't know it's not a couple there's a lot of factors so if it's like ocean area it's going to taste different if it's sure. mountain area it's going to taste different if it has more uh, water it's going to taste different uh, less water it's going to taste different um, and that's like rainfall I'm not talking about like because you're not when you have these plantations these these hectares of land uh the cost of water you know watering these things is millions of dollars mm -hmm. so you have to you have to understand that it's kind of like at nature's at nature's uh, will right and, and those are some sort of out of control situations with the whole coffee world of how it's grown where it's grown and how fast it grows with nature and all that but from what mm -hmm. I understand, your company relies more on how it's processed after the yes. coffee bean is there. You really like, isn't your thing? Uh, it's really more about the non acidic so you don't get that heartburn when you drink coffee in the morning. Absolutely. Well, we're the world's first and only acid free coffee. So, this coffee doesn't give you heartburn, ingestion, upset stomach, smooth, no bitter bite. And is the, is the, is the acid, is that kind of like this, the sheen you see sometime or is that the oil from the coffee? Sometimes the black. No, coffee. those are the oils. That's the oils? Those are the oils. So you can think of it this way, okay? Think of it as uh, you have a cell and inside that cell, you have dots of tannic and lipids in the bean. This is the bean, right? So the beans here, and then inside you have dots of tannic lipid uh, acid. When the roasting process gets too hot, it cracks. And when it cracks, it releases the acid over the beans. And I'm doing like a lot of hand tanger with your magic. <laughs> but uh, when you don't over roast it, it stays inside the bean and it stays dormant. Okay. So it doesn't give you any issues with heartburn and digestion upset stomach because tannic and lipid acids are the biggest inflammatory acids in plant matter. What about when they grind it? Does it get out then? Or is it no. too late? Temperature's too low. Oh, sure. Okay, I see. I'm you can't longer. over... Well, so, so you can grind it to a, a hot 
aspect and that's why they that's have you ever heard of burr grinder no the ur okay what it is is the ceramic grinder so it reduces the temperature to heat okay so it's just the, the so you can get yeah you can detonate the coffee using heat when they're grinding but because the burr grinder industry has become to the point where you have to look for not a burr grinder versus you have to look for a burr grinder um <laughs> you know I, I would say that you you would be you'd be fine it's not going to give you an issue very cool it's, uh, it's always fascinating to me that you just take one simple thing like coffee and how complex it can get from there on out. And I think I shared Amazing. I used to be live in Asheville, North Carolina, and there was a guy that had a little coffee cart and people in the morning would come down to his coffee cart because he had just certain temperatures and stuff that he would play with, and whether it's poured over or it's fascinating. How, how long have you been involved with the whole coffee world? 15 years. That's enough. 16 technically. Well, July of 2021 will be 16. So what got you into it? Because it is named Tyler's Coffee and it's you, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's not some other Tyler. I am I am the Tyler from Tyler's Coffee, yes. Um, well, what got me into it is my father. He's a uh, biochemist and him and I kind of bonded over coffee. And one day he he just got this really bad stomach pain and uh, I went to the uh, doctor and the doctor said, hey, I'm sorry, and you can't drink coffee anymore. You have, uh, you have ulcers. And, and, and so he said, no, I'm, I'm going to be able to drink coffee. I just have to re-engineer the whole molecule. Oh, sure. So his mind said it's not the coffee. It's whatever's creating the ulcer, and that might be the acid. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when people think without the box, you know. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know a box. He's never been inside a box. He's never figured out what the box really is. That's very cool. So you're doing this for your dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an homage to my dad. Uh, he owns his own consulting company where he, you know, he's the fixer, right? So um, like Lindy Oil and Gas will call him up and say, Hey, we need an insulation that can go negative 200 degrees, but positive 300, or sorry, positive 1200 degrees without cracking or uh, failing. Okay. Or, hey, we need an epoxy that's going to withstand 50 mile an hour winds in Florida from a hurricane. Okay, okay. So he doesn't like that four letter word can't, right? <laughs> no. Exactly. Well, very cool. So the coffee that you do, though, it's a, you're really focused on it being natural and organic and not full of chemicals and flavors and all that kind right. of stuff, right? It's just right. Like raw kind of. And you we said, want the best essence of coffee. We want where coffee actually is the purest and most organic and most, you know, clean and the most healthy and the most tasting. You know, I mean, we, the reason why I say that is because we have an 80% retention rate on our customer base. So it's not just me talking. If you, if your listeners go to our website, tylerscoffees.com, and they go to the uh, page of reviews, there's pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. That's we have video question. reviews, Google reviews, we've got, a lot of Facebook reviews, um, yeah. Uh, earlier on, you, you showed me uh, some new packaging and stuff. Do you have that available you could share with us? Got some yeah, it's right here. So uh, we, went from, we went from our 12 count box right here. And we said, hey, you know what? It's a new year, new Tyler. Let's give them some more value, huh? Let's keep the same price, so let's give them some more value. So I went and I beat up my suppliers. And I said, guys, I really, really want to do this. They said, it can't be done, Tyler. I said, well, I don't want the word can't, so it can be done, right? We did it. Boom. 16 count box right there. Okay, so they're getting uh, more of the same thing for a better, for the same price. Same price. 
Well, that's got to make people uh, happy because oftentimes, you know, you start buying things and all of a sudden the portion size seem to get weirdly smaller and smaller and smaller, you know? Kind of weird. How yeah, that. well, and that's, and that's what we wanted to not do because, I mean, we, we could have been like, hey, we're going to sell it 16 count for $30 and we would lose it. But we'd have a lot of pushback. I know that because we're already at $22. But I thought to myself, I was like, well, can I take a smaller margin and help out my, my customers? And I, I think, think that's, that's really uh, the best way to go about. It is because at least you keep the customers because there's a real nice Nepal restaurant where we live here and we really liked it. it used to have nice proportions and, and the price was pretty good. Now the prices have gone up and the portions have dropped down and they're, they're never there anymore. And it's kind of like, I can go someplace else now. So well, you got to take care of the customer. Ameri that's America. Yeah. If you don't have a customer, you don't have a business, you know? Twitter's going to find out real quick. <laughs> What's that? Twitter's, Twitter's going to find out real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole nother topic, all that stuff. I got I got issues with social media and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. We all have issues with social voice. media. I think I think uh, I think America's fed up. Yeah, I think uh, both sides too. Yep. <laughs> it's just what are you I doing? Agree. They got us wearing masks. Pretty soon it's gonna be muzzles. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, let's not oh, get into you, that. <laughs> well, really quick, did you hear the new one where we're gonna have to wear face or sorry uh, eye protection? Oh, really? Why is that? Because somebody might spit on you and get it inside your eyes. You got it. That's weird. <laughs> I, I haven't heard that. I'll have to, I'll have to Google that one. Um, you know, my background was in the was event good. industry, and I kind of moved into more of this online stuff because I can't see sure. doing my convention on my expo, people filling out the registration forms, giving them their badge, and there's your hazmat suit over in the corner over there. You got to go get that and put it. I just can't do that. I got to. It's got to be people meeting people live and in person. I can't, can't do that. <laughs> anyway, hey, well, the, hey, the vaccine, the vaccine is is out, so we'll see. Yeah, you don't need no vaccine. You just got to be healthy. Got to drink healthy coffee yeah, and get rid of that stuff. Drink healthy coffee and be healthy. Who Absolutely. knows? Maybe that's the cure, right? We can't claim that, but it's possible Ooh. that good, clean, healthy consumption. Will make you strong like bull, and you don't. Have to worry I, you about know, things. I I don't I don't I don't mean this as as a cure. So I have to like first put out the disclaimer for all of you that think that I'm going to tell you, hey, you drink my coffee and you're going to feel better. But when I am sick, I will drink coffee. I drink coffee every day. But when I'm sick, I'll drink coffee, and there is a lot of antioxidants in coffee that kill free radicals that kill viruses. So I do feel a little bit better. The caffeine gives me a little bit of a perk. Um, I get less stuffy because it, you know, releases the, uh, relaxes my nose because the caffeine is a dilator. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a little bit of a, uh, well, I believe it. I believe that if you ingest good, clean, healthy stuff, nothing that's been uh, preserved right. and all that kind of stuff, right. because right. to me, preservatives, are to make something last longer. So it's gonna sit in your body longer. It's not gonna process. Right. Stuff, the stuff's right. gotta keep going. So I'm a natural, I, I do a little bit of a piece of an aspirin to keep my blood thin and keep all the crud out of it. But other than that, sure. I try and just eat clean. And I think that's more healthy than anything else. A lot of other yeah, baby aspirin a day is not gonna do anything actually in the long run. If you have high blood pressure or if you're pre, uh, quote unquote, I, you're not diabetic, but if you're pre-diabetic, it's not bad. Also, um, what was I going to say? Um, when you, when you ingest the, the aspirin, if you have high blood pressure, my mom has AFib and she also has high blood pressure and the doctor prescribed that to her and she's been doing it and a lot better. I get just once in a while. And I, I used to do that 10, with my old radiator. Under. I used to have an old CJ5 Willys Jeep, and I used to once in a while run a bunch of fresh water through the radiator, just flush it all out, and just get all the stuff yeah. out of it. You know, beat yeah. on it a little bit, knock all the scale out of there, and that's kind of what you got to do with your body, I guess, once in a while. Oh, I agree. 
Well, Tyler, I'm going to sign this off. Is there something else you can share with us? How do we get a hold of you? Want to learn more about Tyler's Coffee? And um, maybe there's some stores uh, in and around where our viewers are and they want to carry it. Yeah, so we made it really simple for you. Uh, go to tylerscoffees.com. Coffees, plural. And coffees with an S. Yeah, coffees with an S.com. And then you can go to store locator. You can type in your zip code. Pops right up. Um, cool. You can also, uh, you know, buy it. Buy it online? You can buy it on our website. Uh, go to Amazon, eBay, Wish, Jet, American Bariatrics, Bariatrics Pal, uh, IC Network. There you uh, go. So if you're afraid of COVID and yeah. you want to order online, you can do it safe. Social distancing you, from here to yeah. Arizona. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, very cool. I appreciate you taking the time and sharing this. It's always fascinating to me that you can take something, a commodity is like coffee. And it's interesting that it all around the equator and then it's all over the world. It's like, like the most consumed beverage in the planet. Good Second stuff. largest commodity item in the world, $1.6 trillion industry. And I haven't actually looked at the new numbers, but we went up 15% last year. Now you go, oh, 15%, that's, yeah, it's okay, Tyler. No, that's insane because wow. on average, our industry will go up two to 3%. Yeah. So to go up 15% in one year is, is mind boggling. I'd like 15% in my REITs, my real estate investments. It'd be good. <laughs> all righty, buddy. Thank you very much. I hope all's well there in Arizona and um, tune in again. Thank you very much for sharing. Peace. Thanks everyone.